Hey guys, this is another Tools on Tap. I'm Phil. I'm Rob. And today we're talking about uh, our head-to-head -head series. Um, Rob, why did we start doing these head-to-head -head series, or what's our goal putting these articles out? Uh, good point. <laughs> guys like them. They're sexy. No, head-to-heads. Uh, head-to-heads head give guys a snapshot of what's going on currently. Yep. Right. We joke all the time that these these manufacturers are constantly competing. They're leapfrogging ahead of each other with the latest and greatest technology. Um, I, I, we were doing it because. Guys would like send us emails and comments like, I'm in Home Depot and I'm trying to read three of your reviews and try to see, you know, which which tool's the best and, and, <laughs> and read labels and so snapshot. Yep. Right here, right now. So uh, we just did a head to head this weekend. We did yeah. circular saws. Not we used to try to do head to heads with apples to apples comparison. You can't do that anymore. It's yeah, hard. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Um, this one was I think the first time we've departed from the really trying to mm. compare uh, you know, an 18 volt um, to another 18 volt with the same blade size and the same spec. And, and you know how what? Hard did we just, struggle to do that. It, it's nearly impossible right. to do. And and I think going back to your initial point about the snapshot is, hey, in this head to head, our intent was the highest capacity battery with your highest performing circular saw. We mash those two together and then we put them through their paces. Yeah. So you know the whole the whole point of of uh, although. The whole thing about our websites are that you know we're pro contractors. We're working on the job site, so we're guys that use these tools too, and we're trying yeah. to. We're, we're not a laboratory test. We're not underwriters' no. laboratory. We're not a vacuum. It's practical, real world stuff. So what we've tried to do is we've tried to say how are these tools used? How are we going to test them? How are we going to use them? You know, yeah, we do the boring stuff like the ergonomics and the features, and that's a, but that's important to some yeah. guys. Rafter hooks important to some guys. It isn't to others. Um, then we look at, you know, stuff like, well, you joke all the time about, you know, uh, the depth gauge on the saw versus the bevel gauge, you know, yeah. both important maybe, but probably not. One's more important than the other. And so we try to look at all those things and then we always try to do some sort of a torture test. Yeah. And this time around we did, and I believe we did this last time, but the circular saw head to head that we did two to three years ago. I mean, the difference in the performance that we saw was, was astronomical. So you can really see the technology improving. Um, but our torture test was basically doing cross cuts of LDL, which is super hard, uh, aggressive material to be cutting. And you know, some of these saws, some of the six and a half saws are, six and a half inch saws are designed to be trim saws. Right. So yeah. we re we know that we're putting them in a, a in a very challenging condition, but also cross-cutting LVLs are common for a yeah, carpenter or headers, a framer. Beams, whatever we're doing. You know, one thing I want to say, I used to wear torture tests because we that's what we call it, but it's you know, it's runtime testing and we're testing runtime. Guys, it's, and it's a, realistic. I it's would realistic. Say. It's a, we look for a realistic test, but it's also Guys, it's sexy to watch and the video and all that stuff and we time everything, we use the same blades. But guys want that metric. But I, I, I wanted to say that we're not really torturing these tools. We're using them in a very hard application. We're letting yes. them rest a little. We try to we try to factor in the fact that they, they might have electronics that will shut down if they get too hot. Yeah. All that stuff. We consider all of that. We try to do it professional. Yeah, this, this time around we did um, five cuts with 10 second rest between five cuts and then a minute rest because two cuts it was two yeah it was two ten two cuts um uh 10, 10 second, second rest, rest you're absolutely right and then we did five sets of that and then gave a, rest. a, a minute yeah. rest and when you're considering cross cutting lvls you know y your whole floor system is in lvls you're not making those cuts non-stop so it's a very aggressive cut we wanted to make sure that we challenged the tool but right. we didn't put them because these tools <clears throat> nowadays are so uh, more advanced than they were even Way three more. or four years ago. We had an older model tool. I'm not going to give it away which one it was, but it made the same amount of cuts as a newer saw, except that old saw was literally smoking while this, while the newer saw with the advanced electronics it was hot as hell. Yeah. Um, just, just a it didn't get as hot because it was brushless, but um, it, it would have shut down before it started to right. destroy itself. Right. So that's a great example of you know what these saws can do nowadays. I, I think you know go, going back to what you said, you know why, why do we do them? Is we do them because we want to give guys what they want to know. You know what do you need to know to make a purchase? So what metrics are important to you? What what what's important to you? Well, you know guys want to know runtime, and so you know. Who saw us bigger? Uh, yeah. are, you know, my yeah, saw us bigger. Yeah, every guy's got his horses. If he's a DeWalt yeah. guy, he's, yeah. 
he they wants get to walk away. Yeah, brand loyalty crap, all yeah. that stuff. Um, and, and I get the brand loyalty thing. I, I'm more of a platform thing. If I'm investing in a platform, I'm gonna lean towards that. It's not necessarily brand, brand, brand loyalty. Uh, if there's a tool out there that does an application that I want, then I'm getting that tool. That's, yeah. that's just the way it is. But what do guys want? What do they need? And, and I envision, you know, Todd used to say this too. Picture the guy in Home Depot looking between the uh, Makita, the DeWalt, and the Milwaukee going scratch his head. They're all on sale. You know, which one do I want? Well, there's a lot of factors there, you know? Oh, yeah. So we try, a head to head tries to give you that snapshot of what's available right now, right here. Make a decision, not six weeks from now, not next month, not a year from now, because they're going to leapfrog and they're going to change. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. I guess that's why we do it. Awesome. Plus, because we just like spending time with you, Phil. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Well, I was gonna say, uh, with this with this test in particular, we created a lot of man glitter. And, yeah, sawdust uh, is man glitter. We uh, we certainly had a good time. Hey, let's show the teaser. Yeah, absolutely. We, we just the t look the head-to-head -head test will probably come out within a week from you seeing this. Here's our teaser. Check it out. Hey, what would you think? Uh, I know I was there this that weekend when we did that, but uh, I am more than excited to yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, to see the results of this too. test. Yeah, real, real cool, real cool stuff. <laughs> Again, we show the we show the runtime testing because that's the. When, did I see fun. a drone? There was, was a there drone. Was a drone? <laughs> yeah. I was wondering what ben, was I was like, ben what is that noise? <laughs> ben Carmichael does our, 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 a lot of our reviews for more of the serious DIYer stuff, but he is a uh, great photographer. He's an amazing photographer and videographer, and he. Uh, I would totally date drone. him. You would? Really? I thought you were more kind of Josh's. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, oh, hot pants? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Where is so, hot pants? He, he, took, he couldn't make it tonight, but uh, he says hello. But the drone was awesome. The thing was just buzzing up and down, buzzing around. We got Great these bird's eye shots. shots yeah. So we had a lot of fun. I always joke that uh, tool testing is uh, my version of book group. My wife has book group where they drink wine, talk about books. We have tool testing. And we only drink beer after. Afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been another Tools on Tap. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, we asked a lot of questions, so we'd love to see those comments below. Hey, see you guys. Thanks.